On July 28, 2025, the FAA sent shockwaves through the aviation world with a dramatic announcement that would have far-reaching consequences for Boeing and the entire industry. The agency revealed a critical safety flaw in a small but absolutely vital component found on select Boeing 787 Dreamliners, one of the world's most advanced and widely used passenger jets. According to the FAA, key fittings for an emergency system, parts that could mean the difference between life and death in a crisis, were manufactured from the wrong grade of titanium. This wasn't just a minor technicality, the metal was dangerously substandard, raising the risk of catastrophic failure. This was not a software glitch or a paperwork error, it was a fundamental material failure, one that somehow slipped past multiple layers of quality control, inspections, and supplier audits. The revelation sent a chill through the industry, highlighting just how vulnerable even the most sophisticated manufacturing processes can be. For Boeing, a company still struggling to regain trust after previous high-profile crises, this new issue threatened to unravel years of hard-won progress. It cast a long shadow over the company's promises of reform and renewed commitment to safety. The timing could not have been worse. Boeing was already under intense global scrutiny, with regulators, airlines, and passengers watching its every move. This fresh flaw reignited old fears and raised new questions about whether deeper, systemic problems still lurked beneath the surface. The FAA's alert was more than just a technical directive. It was a wake-up call for the entire aviation industry, forcing everyone from regulators to airline executives to confront uncomfortable truths about oversight, accountability, and the complexity of modern aircraft manufacturing. If a flaw this serious could slip through on the Dreamliner, what other risks might be hidden in the vast interconnected global supply chain? The incident left the industry with urgent questions and a renewed sense of vigilance. At the heart of the FAA's warning is the Ram Air Turbine, or RAT, a pilot's last line of defense in a total power loss. The RAT is a small, propeller-driven generator that deploys in emergencies using airflow to power essential flight controls and instruments. It's not enough to run the whole plane, but it keeps pilots in control when everything else fails. The RAT's reliability is non-negotiable. It must work perfectly after years of dormancy, under extreme stress. If the RAT fails to deploy or detaches due to weak fittings, a manageable emergency could become a catastrophe. That's why the FAA's alert about the RAT's mounting hardware struck such a nerve. These fittings are the only thing anchoring this life-saving device to the aircraft. A failure here is a failure of the entire emergency system. The FAA's alert zeroed in on a crucial detail. The RAT fittings on nine Dreamliners were made from low-grade titanium, not the required aerospace-grade alloy. Boeing's specs call for grade 5 titanium, strong, light, and fatigue-resistant. Instead, the parts were made from weaker, commercially pure titanium, completely unsuited for high-stress aviation use. This substitution created a hidden vulnerability. Under stress, the fittings could crack or fail, risking rat malfunction or detachment. Such a material mix-up is a fundamental breakdown in manufacturing quality control. Every aircraft part is supposed to be meticulously tracked and verified. The fact that uncertified material made it onto multiple planes points to a systemic failure, not just a one-off mistake, it raises serious questions about the integrity of the entire supply chain. The journey of substandard titanium reveals a troubling reality. Global pressures can quietly undermine the very foundations of safety in high-stakes industries like aerospace. In a world where supply chains stretch across continents, the smallest disruption can ripple outward, affecting every link. The problematic material originated from a Chinese supplier, making its way through a complex web of manufacturers and middlemen before reaching Spirit Aerosystems, and ultimately ending up in Collins Aerospace's RAT units which are critical for aircraft safety during emergencies. This entire chain of custody broke down during a period marked by severe global titanium shortages, a crisis made worse by sweeping sanctions on Russia, one of the world's largest titanium suppliers. As inventories dwindled and deadlines loomed, some suppliers, under immense pressure to deliver, may have cut corners or relaxed their usual quality controls accepting unverified titanium shipments just to keep production lines moving and contracts fulfilled. In response, Collins Aerospace reportedly spent $175 million in 2024 to overhaul its supplier network and secure more reliable sources, 
a move that strongly suggests internal awareness of the growing risks and the urgent need to restore trust in their supply chain. But by the time these changes were made, faulty parts had already been installed on new Dreamliners, putting both reputation and passenger safety at risk. This episode lays bare the fragility and complexity of today's sprawling aerospace supply chains, where a single weak link can threaten the integrity of the entire system. Boeing, like many global manufacturers, relies on every link in this intricate chain to function flawlessly, but when global pressures mount, even a single oversight or shortcut can have dangerous far-reaching consequences. Geopolitical and economic shocks aren't just headlines, they can show up in the nuts and bolts of an aircraft, reminding us that safety is only as strong as the weakest link in the chain. Boeing and the FAA acted quickly, but the timeline shows Boeing knew about the issue months before the public did. In February 2025, Boeing quietly told airlines to inspect rat fittings on affected Dreamliners using advanced testing. The FAA followed with a proposed directive targeting nine specific aircraft assembled in South Carolina. Once finalized, this directive will legally require airlines to inspect and replace faulty parts with the correct titanium alloy. The response has been low profile, neither Boeing nor Collins Aerospace commented publicly at first. Airlines must now ground the affected jets for inspection and repair, causing operational headaches despite the small number involved. The FAA's directive turns Boeing's recommendation into a federal mandate, underscoring the seriousness of the flaw. The focus is on swift, thorough compliance to neutralize the risk. This Dreamliner alert comes as Boeing is still reeling from the 737 MAX disasters and ongoing quality control scrutiny. The 737 MAX crashes and the Alaska Airlines door plug blowout expose deep flaws in Boeing's processes and oversight. The FAA imposed a production cap on the MAX and new models remain uncertified due to unresolved technical issues. Against this backdrop, the 787's rat fitting problem feels like another chapter in a long saga of quality lapses. While the root cause differs, the theme is the same breakdowns in the systems meant to guarantee aircraft safety. For regulators and airlines, it's a stark reminder that relentless oversight is still needed. The immediate impact is direct airlines must ground and repair nine Dreamliners, disrupting schedules and inconveniencing thousands of passengers. Even for those not flying on these planes, news of another Boeing flaw erodes public trust in aviation safety. High-profile incidents create a perception of risk that's hard to shake, even though flying remains incredibly safe. For the industry, this is a wake-up call about the importance of material verification and supplier audits. Expect more rigorous documentation, higher costs and slower production as checks are tightened. Airlines already frustrated by delivery delays now face new maintenance headaches and questions about Boeing's reliability. The incident adds strain to already tense relationships between Boeing and its customers. It's a reminder that a single flaw can ripple through the entire aviation ecosystem. Restoring faith in Boeing and aviation safety now depends on radical transparency and accountability. Boeing must publicly explain how this failure happened, tracing the breakdown through every layer of the supply chain. Anything less will further erode trust. Suppliers like Spirit Aerosystems and Collins Aerospace must also be part of this open reckoning. For regulators, this is a call to tighten oversight, demand more direct audits, and require independent testing of critical components. Rebuilding trust will take time and consistent action. Boeing must prove its commitment to safety at every level. The industry's credibility depends on learning from this failure, not just patching it. The substandard titanium crisis will force Boeing to overhaul its supply chain, prompting a sweeping review of how critical materials are sourced, tested, and integrated into every aircraft. This is not just a matter of replacing faulty parts, it's about rebuilding trust in every link of the chain. Boeing will need to audit every supplier, scrutinize every process and verify every part with unprecedented rigor. This means more frequent inspections, deeper background checks, and a renewed focus on transparency at every stage of production. Expect closer collaboration between global regulators as agencies from different countries work together to set higher standards and share critical information in real time. Shared databases and unified standards will become the norm, 
making it far more difficult for unverified or counterfeit materials to slip through the cracks and end up in commercial jets. The lesson is clear. In a globalized industry where parts and expertise cross borders daily, safety is a shared responsibility that extends far beyond any single company or country. Every stakeholder, from engineers to pilots to regulators, must play their part in upholding the highest standards. Manufacturers may need to prioritize resilience and verification over speed and cost, investing in robust quality control systems and advanced monitoring tools, even if it means higher expenses and longer production timelines. The cost of safety lapses is simply too high to ignore. New technologies like blockchain could help track material provenance, ensuring every component's journey is transparent and tamper-proof, and preventing future lapses before they occur. For Boeing, regaining trust will require humility, a willingness to learn from mistakes, and a commitment to open communication with the public and industry partners. Diligence, vigilance, and a culture that puts safety first must become the foundation of every decision, from the boardroom to the factory floor. The aviation world must reflect and act. This is a pivotal moment to reinforce the web of trust that keeps our skies safe and passengers confident. By working together, the industry can strengthen the safety net that protects everyone who flies. The 787 rat incident is a warning, a stark reminder of what's at stake but also an opportunity to build a stronger, safer future for aviation, where every flight is a testament to global cooperation and unwavering commitment to safety.